this tutorial, I will show you how to make a procedural light gobo in Blender, and how to cast these shadows procedurally uh, with this weird object. So I'll jump in here, this is the scene, and you can see that this light is casting this gobo effect here. And since we're in cycles, it's going to look kind of noisy and stuff, but it's also animatable, so with have an actual animation it should work as well so or rather change texture over time so I'm gonna start by deleting this light and this is our scene I have two planes I have this object here which is these modifiers and it's just a uh, dodecahedron and this is actually the shading for that as well but to get into the light we're gonna add a light we're gonna add an area light and bring this up just so it casts the shadow, and I'm going to turn this light here. Increase the intensity to 1500. For this effect to work too, I'm going to turn the spread down so that it's only kind of like we, the information we want is the um, kind of like the UV texture map of the light. So I'm going to go into use nodes. And to start off, I'm going to add a geometry node here. And I'm going to take this geometry node and I want to add a Voronoi, or a Voronoi texture, just here. I'm going to change this to 4D because we want to animate this width value. And this parametric value we're going to plug into here, I'm going to do Control shift d I now want to add this, I want to combine these two, right, but I want the scale value to let's say 50, and I want the, this value to be like 8, and then I'm going to take this emission and add a mix RGB, I'm going to change that to linear light, I'm going to plug this distance into here and this distance into here, plug this into the emission. And we still don't have the effect, but that is okay. Oh, and I'm going to do E divided by 16. And to get the effect, I want to add a math node. And I want to kind of like mask this, if that makes sense. Oh, actually, another thing too I want to do is increase the size. There you go. So we sort of have the effect here now. this and let's go to our camera view and we already have the effect basically so to make it animatable or animate over time I guess is the term I'm looking for I'm gonna go to this value node and do hashtag frame which means basically hashtag time and I'm gonna take this value and add another math node and turn it to multiply turn it to 0.001 and plug that into the width value and there you go that is basically the effect and you can see over time and I know this is super noisy because it cycles but you can see that the gobo the light gobo will change over time with this value placed in here and that's really the effect um, this is the mask so you can kind of adjust this if you like. I also would like to see you experiment with these textures, right? I could change this to a Musgrave texture, or I could change, well actually, but then you want to make sure you keep it to 4D and adjust these values, see what happens. Maybe change it to a noise texture. That is kind of cool. And you see we have these different outcomes. I've also noticed too if you use a wave texture, and there's no width value, but you can turn it to the phase offset. You start to get like a, you know, just an interesting effect here. And maybe I want to adjust this threshold. Um, but yeah, experiment with these things and you should get an interesting result. So thank you for watching and subscribe for more.